my name is Lawrence Lowe. Uh, I'm the founder of Portrait from the Heart. Portrait from the Heart basically is a uh, group of volunteers, a project started by a group of volunteers aimed to help uh, beneficiaries who are either hospice patients or rare disorder children uh, to take a professional uh, family portrait. The idea actually came to me during the first time when I was uh, approached by HCA to shoot at the memorial service. So during that point of time, uh, the vision of doing a family portrait uh, was actually uh, given birth. And uh, I approached Dr. Chong, who is the executive director for, or medical director for HCA, and sold him the idea and said, look, uh, rather than we doing a memorial service uh, photography right now, uh, could we do something for these families while their loved ones are still around? Me as a photographer, um, I am very glad that at least it's something that I can use, one of my skills, to bless people that may not be even given a chance to do a family portrait. Um, to them, it's a luxury. To them, coming out of the house is something that some of them is even impossible. Uh, some caregivers have to spend literally every day looking at a sick child, taking care of them. Um, and we are very glad that at least this is something we are able to do our little part to make a big difference to these families. The first family portrait that we have taken, or rather the first family portrait that we went to the patient's house uh, to take uh, was actually back in 2014 um, at the request of HCA, HCA Hospice Care. Patients was actually uh, at the age of uh, 18 then, which is about the same age as Michael. So it was a very memorial, uh, it, it was a very um, memorable one because one, uh, the father has a daughter that is almost the same age as mine, so I can literally feel how he feel, and having a daughter that suffers from brain tumor, um, and I still remember when the father texted me that when the daughter received the family portrait, she was actually literally looking at a photo for more than half an hour, you know, and I think probably a lot of complex feeling may have crossed her mind during that point of time. So that was one of the very memorable. Uh, uh, incident that we have actually taken. Initially, there were patients who are very reluctant because they may know, you know, this is probably the last family portrait that they have done. Uh, we will always try to make the atmosphere a bit lighter during the shoot by using props, by cracking jokes, uh, by doing any means that we can to basically lighten the atmosphere so that everyone can enjoy the session. Personally, uh, when we had a photo shoot, uh, we enjoyed ourselves. Okay, my girl was also really happy to have a photo taken. As beneficiaries, like, what was the most memorable and unforgettable moment you had? It's the family portrait that we had together. Yeah, because that's the only proper um, photo that we had. I think that's the one that we will we cherish most. This year, I will do a song from China. There is a woman. She is probably about six or seven. No, she is ten. Ten years. 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 有很多的不公平，为什么会这样子？可是他的家人都很坚强、嗯。最后他还是走了。可是，我就觉得，在他的生命里面，虽然我们是过客，可是对于我们来讲，我们在他短暂的生命里面，我们有存在过。我觉得这也是我现在坚持到现在的一个原因。The feelings can be very complex.、Uh... When we do the family portrait for each of each time when we are approached to do a family portrait, uh, 
we knew and we know that this is possible. Possibly one of the last family portraits that they could come together as a family to do this family portrait. Uh, sometimes we are also being approached to take a personal photo for the mm -hmm. patients, knowing that that may be the photo that will be used if they pass on at the funeral. And um, the feeling can be very emotional, uh, but we just have to learn to overcome it. Over the last three years, we have probably taken more than hundreds of family portraits. And um, some of the patients, or at least more than half of them, um, I would say, sad to say that, have passed on ever since then. Um, for some patients who are closer to us, definitely the emotional attachment is definitely there. And it's never easy to overcome that. But I guess every time when we encounter someone that we have encountered, that have passed on, um, it's definitely a very sad moment. The longest which has uh, we have actually took to recover from the previous loss could be as long as months or sometimes even years. Um, but I guess we learn to overcome uh, the grieving, uh, the the grief, and it gives us strength to want to bless someone else uh, for the next family portrait. I think that's the motivation that really keeps us going. We are like a family together because each of us treat each other like maybe uncle is like the father of the team. You know, like we really have, <laughs> we really have the feelings towards each other. Yeah, and. Because of this, we managed to help the other families to bond stronger. Yeah, even though they are going through hard times and all, but you know, when all of us just keep close, everything will become better. Yeah. Keep going. Uh, I mean, he's he's a very nice guy. Yeah, like. Mm, uh, having to start up this project is not easy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you. A lot of time it will be taken up, you know, your personal commitment and all that. Yeah, and and not only he, uh, whenever he finish one project, right, he, he will still keep in contact with, you know, the family members or that. Yeah. Mm. So, yeah, he's, he's one of the extinction. <laughs> I spend a lot of time with my volunteers. In fact, almost every weekend. Uh, whenever there's an assignment, uh, we will always put them before ourselves, okay? And uh, they are literally almost the second family to me. I have a very interesting team of uh, volunteers. Uh, we definitely have a lot of fun. Uh, we disturb each other, we have party time, we have durians together. I guess that's the way that we sometimes would encourage one another in our various, uh, even though we come from different walks of life, some are students, some graduated, uh, some are nurses, some working adults, but we have a common purpose in life which is basically to do something for those who are in need. I guess that's how we actually keep ourselves close together. Every time when we step into a family doing the family portrait, uh, each family uh, actually teach us a lot of things. Every family that we approach, uh, every family that we uh, visited, there is always a story behind. The struggle that they face, uh, the hardship that they encounter, the challenges that they face. I guess those are things that constantly remind us that we need to be grateful of what we have, need to be grateful of our loved one. And those are things that would constantly remind us uh, not to take our loved one for granted and to treasure them when, there's, when we still can. Cherish every moment because you will know what's going to happen next. Somebody might just leave us like that. Yeah. So since you have, your, you have all the time now, just do what you want. Love the people around you and stay strong. Because when you're strong, all of them will be, they will feel better and yeah, it's a blessing for them. 
life is very unpredictable. Uh, we cannot take for granted how long we live, how long our loved one uh, will be with us. Um, family portrait to many many of us could be something that we take for granted, thinking that uh, we can do it another day. But to many of these uh, beneficiary of ours, um, it's never been easy, it's never been possible until we started doing this project. And in fact, uh, we do have families uh, coming to us during the memorial service and even telling me that the family portrait that we have done for them was the only family portrait that they have. And I guess this is something that I would urge every one of you uh, to have your family portrait taken whenever you can. Don't wait until uh, you don't have the opportunity and you regret it.